Human civilization, with its dynamic and diverse cultural tapestry, has consistently displayed a remarkable breadth in its understanding and acceptance of sexuality. From rigid societal boundaries to unrestrained freedoms, the portrayal and acceptance of sexuality have seen dramatic shifts across different epochs and societies. Ancient Greece stands as a shining beacon in this vast expanse, well known for its progressive, albeit complex, perspectives on homosexuality. Today we embark on an elaborate journey, probing deep into the lives, experiences, and societal roles of gays and lesbians in this influential civilization. Setting the scene, homosexuality in the ancient Greek worldview. As we traverse back to the 8th century BC, the picturesque landscapes of ancient Greece serve as the backdrop to a society where love and sexual attraction were not bound by the confines of heterosexual norms. Unlike many of their contemporaries, the Greeks did not firmly adhere to binary classifications like gay or straight. Instead, their appreciation for love and beauty was fluid, extending beyond gender limitations to the essence of the individual. The Greek concept of love, Eros and Philia. Before delving into specifics, it's crucial to understand the Greek conception of love, central to understanding their attitudes toward homosexuality. Ancient Greeks distinguished between various types of love, primarily Eros, erotic love, and Philia, platonic love. Eros was seen as a powerful, passionate force that could be directed towards both genders, while Philia represented deep friendship and camaraderie, again without gender restrictions. Homosexuality among men, pederasty and beyond. In the annals of Greek homosexuality, pederasty stands out as a distinctive institution. This socially acknowledged, often ritualized relationship between an adult male, the erastes, and a younger male, typically an adolescent, the eromenos, was a blend of mentorship, education, and sexual intimacy. Pederasty served a pivotal societal function, acting as a conduit for imparting knowledge and wisdom. The Erastes schooled the Eromenos in various aspects of life, including politics, warfare, philosophy, and civic duties. These relationships were cherished and respected, ingrained deeply into the social fabric of Greek city-states. Nevertheless, the nuances of pederasty should not be conflated with modern notions of homosexuality. The Greeks adhered to a strict active-passive dichotomy in sexual roles, where the adult male was the active, dominant partner and the youth the passive one. Openly homosexual relationships among adult men were less common, primarily because it was deemed improper for an adult male to take a passive role beyond adolescence. Hidden Voices – Homosexuality Among Women When it comes to lesbianism in ancient Greece, historical records are significantly less abundant. This discrepancy primarily arises from the patriarchal nature of historical documentation, which tends to overlook or underrepresent women's experiences. However, one cannot discuss lesbianism in ancient Greece without mentioning the poetic mastery of Sappho. Hailing from the Greek island of Lesbos, Sappho's sensual and emotional verses portrayed her love for women, providing an invaluable snapshot of homosexual love among women during that era. It's important to note that the term lesbian is derived from Lesbos, a testament to Sappho's profound influence. However, our understanding of female homosexuality remains fragmented due to the lack of female perspectives in his the legacy of ancient Greek views in modern times. The sexual norms of ancient Greece continue to reverberate in contemporary discourse on homosexuality. Their unique blend of tolerance, appreciation, and celebration of sexual orientation, albeit within their societal constructs, offers a historical roadmap to inclusivity and diversity. The influence of ancient Greece transcends its literature, philosophy, and art, seeping into our understanding of love, attraction, and sexuality. It prompts us to reflect on the universality and historical consistency of these human experiences, acknowledging their prevalence and acceptance in one of the world's oldest civilizations. Delving into the realm of ancient Greek art and literature, we encounter an abundance of homoerotic imagery and narratives. Vase paintings, sculptures, and texts depict scenes of young men training together, engaging in intimate social rituals, or depicting myths where gods and heroes exhibited same-sex attractions. These visual and written accounts confirm the normality and social acceptance of homosexual relationships in ancient Greece. 
Plato, a prominent philosopher of the time, presented diverse perspectives on love and homosexuality in his dialogues. His symposium, for example, includes speeches praising eros and homoerotic desire. In Phaedrus, he extols the virtues of a type of non-sexual aspirational love, which can exist between males. While Plato's views might not represent the totality of Greek beliefs, they undoubtedly contribute to understanding the cultural and intellectual context of the time. Influence of Ancient Greek Homosexuality on Modern LGBTQ Plus Movements Ancient Greek practices and perspectives on homosexuality have had significant influence on modern LGBTQ plus movements. Their nuanced understanding of sexual orientation and love has served as a source of inspiration, offering historical evidence of societies where homosexuality was accepted and celebrated. Modern LGBTQ plus movements often refer to ancient Greek society as an example that challenges the notion that heteronormativity is the default human condition. By doing so, they strengthen their argument for the recognition and acceptance of diverse sexual orientations in contemporary societies. The taints of misinterpretation and misunderstanding. While it's essential to draw upon historical societies like ancient Greece to gain perspective, it's equally important not to idealize or oversimplify their societal norms. Homosexuality in ancient Greece was structured within specific societal roles and expectations, which might not align with modern sensibilities or the individual's right to freedom and consent. Similarly, the near absence of female voices from the historical records has left us with an incomplete and skewed understanding of lesbianism in ancient Greece. We must remember this gap when we interpret ancient practices, ensuring we don't inadvertently reinforce modern biases or stereotypes. Conclusion Revisiting Ancient Greek Progressiveness Ancient Greek society, with its intricate structure and sophisticated norms, was progressive in many respects, not least in their perspectives on sexuality. Although their practices and societal norms do not perfectly align with our modern understanding of homosexuality, their fluid and nuanced view of love and attraction represented an enlightened outlook for their time. The exploration of homosexuality in ancient Greece challenges contemporary attitudes and perspectives, pushing us to critically examine our prejudices and biases. It reinforces that the diversity of human love, attraction, and sexuality is not a modern phenomenon, but one with deep historical roots dating back to the cradle of Western civilization. This exploration serves as a vivid reminder of humanity's enduring capacity to love in all its forms. It spans across time and cultures, transcending societal boundaries, uniting us all in the universality of human experience.